I'm here at the 2013 Profile Wine Group Portfolio Tasting, and right now I'm speaking with Miriam. Miriam is from a company that represents two different wineries, one in California and one in France, Chateau Tessier and World's End. Now, uh, Chateau Tessier is an ambitious product, uh, project, that is, by English winemaking guru uh, Jonathan Maltus. Can you tell us a little bit about it, please? Oh, sure. Um, Chateau Tessier is a property of 52 hectares, which makes of us one of the biggest owners in terms of uh, vineyard surface in saint emilion And, uh, well, Jonathan's got specific views and goes against the wind completely in Bordeaux uh, in the way that basically we produce Chateau wines like normal people do in Bordeaux. Uh, but all our top uh, premium wines are single vineyards, which is not normal in Bordeaux. But he thinks that... Um, uh, wine should be the language of the terroir, and so this is the reason why it's chosen to work like Burgundy people. I mean, vinifying uh, vineyard by vineyard. And this is uh, how he first uh, succeed in making Le Dôme, which is a small single vineyard situated near Chateau Angelus. That's the biggest portion of uh, Cabernet Franc in, uh, in Bordeaux. And that got the fantastic rating of 100 points uh, in Vintage 2010 by Robert Parker. Wonderful. Now, of course, Jonathan Maltus also has another project, another winery in California, and that's World's End. He must like to travel, or, or is that it? Or? Absolutely. I think that sometimes he doesn't really know where he comes from in a certain way or where his roots are. Uh, he's British, he grew up in uh, Nigeria, now he lives in France, so he's kind of a very international person. And, uh, well, at a certain level, he found that uh, remaining all his life in saint emilion was going to be a little bit boring. So he made some wine at a certain period in Barossa Valley. And, uh, well, another challenge uh, arrived in, uh, raised in, uh, in, uh, 19, in 2008 with uh, effectively the World's End uh, uh, challenge uh, uh, in, uh, in Napa. Uh, we started with just uh, a little production of uh, three labels of 500 cases each, uh, made from grape. Uh, we bought from uh, Andy Beckstoffer, which is very well known for making the best grapes in Napa. He's got vineyards uh, opposite road of uh, Opus One, which is where we bought the grape to make uh, Good Times, Bad Times, our top uh, California. And in 2009, we completed the range with uh, the, what we call the Reserve Range, uh, which are the three other uh, single varietal wines, um, including a Cabernet Franc, which we had to do because of Le Dôme and prove that we are the Cabernet Franc specialist in the world. So, and what's fun also is that all the labels are named after Jonathan's uh, favorite rock and roll songs.